In the second video of the series, we're going to learn how to make your first script. It won't be too hard, and you'll learn some of the basic uh, basic structures of scripts. We'll learn some of the syntax, and then later it'll be uh, much, we'll just move quicker later. This first video is going to be a little slow because we're going to spend a lot of time explaining uh, some of the little details, but you should enjoy it and uh, just go through it real quick. So let's begin. Before we start writing a script, we have to understand two things. The first thing is that SCAR reads the script from left to right and from top to bottom like a book. So it starts from program new, then it reads begin, then it reads end. And it actually skips lines unless they're after a bolded word. So like it reads this line, but it skips all these lines. So it doesn't care about anything, any of the lines any of the empty spaces from new to begin. So even if we have like three spaces right here, it will not matter. Scar won't Scar won't read those. It just skips spaces unless they are in between something that it needs. Which leads us to the next topic. Scar actually has keywords. For example, see the bolded words? In this in this program, this simple program, uh, we have the keyword program. When SCAR sees this word program, it expects a space and then a name. So it, it sees program and it expects a name. So we can name it first program. The first program we're ever going to make is going to be really, really simple. Uh, SCAR can do a lot of great things, but before we, we step into the, like, the more advanced things, let's do something really simple. The simplest, the simplest thing SCAR can do is actually write to this area right here. It can, it can print something. It can, it can say something to here. So let's, let's clear this bottom area using this button that we learned from last video. And now let's, let's tell SCAR to print something right here. To tell it to do something, we have to give it a command. And remember that SCAR reads things from bottom, from top to bottom. So. We put all our commands between begin and end. Begin and end, like kind of like begin the script and end the script. And between there, you give it commands. So let's let's give it a command. Let's let's tell it to write line. And write line. This command means that it writes whatever you tell it in here. So let's tell it what to write. So to tell it what to write, we see this this little write line X. The X represents the the text that we're gonna put in the bottom the bottom part. So let's say hello you. Okay, so so we tell Scar to that the program name is first program. Then we tell it to begin the script, to begin the commands. Then we tell it to write line this to write this in the bottom part of the screen, and then we tell it to end the script. Okay, so let's let's run the script. When we press the play button, the first thing we see is that it successfully compiled, and it tells you how long it took to compile. Now, this is in milliseconds. A thousand milliseconds equals one second. So, 48 milliseconds means that it took 0 0.048 seconds to compile this script. Since it's really small, it's not really a big surprise. And successfully compiled means that there's no error. So maybe if you if you forgot this little this little parenthesis right here and you ran it, it would tell you that you have an error. You know, it says line four. So we go to line four, and there's an error, uh, comma expected in the script. It's kind of abstract, but if you look at it, you'll notice that you forgot a parenthesis. You know, everything has to whatever opens has to close. So when we run the script, let's clear the debug again, let's clear the bottom area. When we run the script, it says, hello, you. So what we, we told Scar to do was to name the program this, then to begin the script, then to write hello, you, and then to end. That's exactly what it did. It, it wrote hello, you. We did all this, you know, kind of kind of silently without telling you. It, it named the program first program and then it began the script and then it, it wrote this and we can see this because it does it right here it, it, it writes hello you right here so this is your very first program you can you can write anything in here 
as long as it's between the two the two uh, apostrophes scar will see it as text so you can write you know you can put your name in there hello hello jack and when you when you run it it'll actually it'll write hello jack whatever you put in there so this is your first program it shouldn't be too hard uh, let's try something a little harder actually before we begin uh, a little more complicated things let's let's talk about the semicolon you see the semicolon two times in the script the semicolon tells scar to to end the statement at a specific point so for example the statement uh, this statement means that program the keyword uh, the program name is first program Scar knows that this is all that there is. See the program, first program, because you end the line. The, the semicolon means end line, means end statement. It means that if if you put it after program, first program, then this is all that there is to first program. That that the program name is just this. There's nothing else you will add to it. And you and you see it again right here. The right line. Uh, it's like a command. It tells Scar write this line, and it tells it what to write. And the the semicolon ends that. It says that uh, the line is done. The statement is done. You you just write this, and that's it. And since since Scar doesn't doesn't recognize lines, then it just keeps going until the the next command. We'll we'll talk about this in in a little bit. And, and it keeps going until the keyword. So it either, either looks for a command, like another word that it recognizes, or it goes until end. So the, the semicolon just means stop here. We're, we're done with this part of the script. We're done with this command. We're done with this, with this keyword. All right, let's stop the video right here. And in the next video, we're going to pick up and learn some more commands. It's going to be a little more exciting. We're going to learn how to move the mouse. And then in later video, we're also going to learn how to uh, control the keyboard. So you'll finally be able to do something a little more fun than writing in the debug log. So join me next time, and we'll continue.